Welcome to 2D Electrical Drafting. The purpose of this video is to give an overview of the capabilities of the suite of tools. In-depth, command-by-command videos are available. The 2D Electrical Drafting suite of tools was developed by a consulting firm in California to expedite their own in-house designs. Other programs, including the development of Revit, are automatically drafting electrical circuits. The general direction of these programs is to create logical links between devices for the purpose of tracking load and circuit capacity. The programs draft the circuits using arcs. Two D electrical drafting was developed to adhere to a strict traditional drafting standard. Much of the appearance of the suite of tools is controllable through the options window. Those options are covered in a separate video. Briefly, at the conclusion of this overview, there is a sample of how different the output can appear. Even if your plans have a very different look, we believe you will find 2D electrical drafting useful and productive. We offer this beta version at a cost of $100. We believe the final value will be nearly $600 when completed. Our goal through this overview video and the in-depth command videos are to show how your firm can benefit from more efficient use of 2D electrical drafting suite of tools. If we can demonstrate that a drafter can save just three minutes on a task three times per day, the cost is saved within two weeks. That is an incredible value. The suite of tools presently has no design capability. It is only a drafting tool. It is an add-on to AutoCAD, working within the AutoCAD environment. Commands available within the suite of tools include a fixture layout command, a command to connect fixtures with WIPs and junction boxes including master satellite configurations, a command to create conduit routing at right angles to the building structure, and a command that fills, facilitates the quick insertion of two different blocks alternating back and forth at your control. You might recognize these programs in the overview video currently running. We believe that the tools create a clean and readable appearance to the drawings and that a focus on making drafting efficient is a bigger labor gain than focusing on the engineering. Furthermore, as the other programs automate engineering we believe the risk for design by the program without engineering review is great. The 2D electrical drafting suite of tools has demonstrated the ability to free engineering time by making the drafting quick, accurate, and efficient. As a reminder, at the conclusion of this video is a sample of how the output is customizable through the options window. It can be tailored to your drafting standards. Once all the variables are set to match your standards, the changes are permanent within the AutoCAD environment. So far in this overview video, you've seen the fixture layout command place all the fixtures uh, customized to the shape of the space, uh, not using an array, but using something similar. Uh, you've seen the program that connects all the fixtures uh, with whips and junction boxes. And you've also seen a fixture tag command that comes in puts the fixture tag next to each fixture in a location that you determine. Right now you're seeing a program that alternates back and forth between two block insertions very quickly so that you can lay out 
receptacle and data voice outlets next to each other. Uh, soon they'll be connected together using the conduit command again. All the work that you're seeing is being done real time. The video is not sped up in any way. Once a drafter learns the system and the suite of tools, everything progresses in a logical order and can be done very quickly. Right now what you're seeing is the user has changed the draw status from new to underground. There are four status that the program supports. New, existing, demo, and underground. And each give a different appearance to the work and is customizable including what layer all the work is put on. So there you see the user just uh, put in a dashed line from the start, didn't have to go back and change it to dashed. And it's on a layer that indicates it's underground. And here you see he accidentally left it on, so he's going back and changing it to new and changing that conduit to new, but it has to start over because it, he left it straight.
Here you see in the overview that the demonstration we decided to make those receptacles dedicated and so by our standards they need to be shown with a device that's rated at 20 amps um, that's what the darkened in area so this program that's running right now is replacing the blocks that had the center that wasn't darkened in that indicates a 15 amp according to our standards this portion of the video is intended to show briefly the capability to customize the tool's output. You will notice that the whip between master and satellite no longer has the letter F in it. All the conduit widths are zero, like lines. The line type of the whip between master and satellite is separately controlled from all the other conduit, which can also be customized to something other than continuous. You will notice that the whips do not arc back and forth between the devices. You can elongate them to a simple arc. You may also notice that the whips do not go all the way to the circle in the center of the fixture. The connection point to the fixture is customizable. The symbols are customizable. In short, two, form, two firms using the same suite of tools could look at each other's plans and not recognize that the other is also using them. Between the customization and the drafting standards implemented at each firm, the output is completely controllable.